My bad, Joe. I was watching the solar eclipse. <laughs> I can't take it. Y'all can't take me serious, huh? I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, my brothers and sisters. Oh, man, I hope everybody's having an amazing week, man. God bless all you beautiful people. Just here to spread the love, the positivity, the good energy, man. And uh, y'all have been sending me so many amazing things to check out, react to. Y'all have been enjoying the reactions. Thank y'all for all the love, the support. Drop a like if you haven't already. And as you can see, we are jumping straight into it, you guys. Oh, boy. Black woman goes off about Trump and the deal. The lefties, the leftists, the lefty, left, 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 left. Turn around, put your heads behind the back, and it's time for somebody to go to jail. Let's check it out, you guys. And um, fun fact, um, if you don't know who uh, Devin Gibson is, the Gibby gang, the Gibby man. We've been watching him since he was doing music reactions. When he first started his channel... Or started, you know, going crazy and doing. I came across some of his music reactions, and I loved his music reactions. I was a, a music. I was reacting to music as well at the time, and um, I think I only had like five or ten thousand uh, subscribers, man, on my on my other channel. And we're finna hit two hundred thousand on my channel where I do music reactions and stuff like that. So we've grown. We've came a long way, y'all. We have came a long way. It's a blessing, man. But um, it's just amazing to see how far he's came, man. It's a blessing. But without further ado, let's go and jump straight in. They hate capitalism, yes. but they love to use us and live off of capitalism. Oh, while man. they spout an anti-God, anti-America mm -hmm. rhetoric. All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got a doozy today because this woman just went off in all the best ways possible and destroyed the leftist narrative. Absolutely eviscerated it. So I had to share this one. I'll give my one cent and some thoughts after the video finishes rolling. Let's get it popping. Since the Democratic Party, they promote black women. Mm -hmm. But particularly if she's a lesbian, yes. they promote black women who are not even qualified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have seen with the diversity, equity and inclusion, which is really racism, which is really saying, well, black people just darn it. They're, they're not smart enough. So we have to give them handouts. Exactly. The and you're pushing that. black women who are not qualified. Dr. Claudine Gay of Harvard. Oh, yes. Now the head of diversity at Harvard is also accused, if I have it correctly, <laughs> of plagiarism. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll get to Fanny, Fanny Willis, who was elected as a DA in Fulton County, Georgia, primarily because she's black, in my opinion. And we Head, Heads behind your back, ma'am. Hey, turn around, I said turn around, heads behind you. I caught her, I caught her. We're in corrupt uh, Fulton County. We're in corrupt Fulton County. I caught her. They caught her stealing. And then she took the money and went on trips and vacations and bought designer shoes, tequila bottles with some fella named Nathan. I'm going to pick him up next. In case We're going to get him. Case. But the black man, where is he? That's done deliberately. <laughs> and it started really in the 60s where the Democrats pushed policy, right, that said to women, particularly black women, you don't need a man in the home. We'll give you more money if, you, if you're single. And I grew up in the 70s and I saw the effects. I saw it in the 80s, the broken home. Now it's more dysfunctional home where you have some women with eight children by five different fathers. Exactly. They don't know who their fathers are, in and out. It's, it has, almost destroyed the black community, but they're doing- It's sad, y'all. It's so sad. It is sad, man. Look, you see the fella in the back? He's- <laughs> Do y'all see the fella in the back? Let me go back just a little bit, man. But no, she, she's, she's spitting though, like, no, like, Salute, salute, and then get out. This is my first time checking out, my first time hearing it, so. 
right? That said to women, particularly black women, you don't need a man in the home. Yeah. We'll give you more money if, you, if you're single. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in the 70s and I saw the effects. I saw it in the 80s. The good times. The broken home. Now it's more dysfunctional home yeah. where you have some women with eight children by five different fathers. Exactly. They don't know who their fathers are, in and out. It's, it's, it has almost destroyed the black community. But they're doing it in a different way now. They're promoting black women and want black men to be down here. And I think black men sense that. And they know that Trump relates to them. They relate to Trump very well. The evil well, he's a Barack, Obama. <clears throat> Barack Obama. Barack Obama is a foot soldier. Oh, yeah, for the, the globalist yeah. elite. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Barack yeah. Obama was a plant. Yes. yes. He was. He was. And now they want to put Michelle Barack on. Obama was yes. a plant. <laughs> he did nothing for the black community. Nobody even knows who he is. Has, did he ever come <laughs> back to Chicago with as no. much crime to talk to young black men? No. He doesn't give a mm. damn. No, he doesn't. Now, hell no, the damn ain't a curse word. I think damn is uh, I could say damn. A uh, damn. A uh, damn, y'all. Facts. Eating snow cones and ice cream cones. Helping Joe Biden up the stairs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, y'all. Do y'all see what's going on? It's ridiculous. Barack Obama is a curse on this nation. So is Joe Biden. I think it's a black yes. We provide the money for his Marxist socialist programs, yes. pushing abortion in Africa and other things. He didn't care about us. No. He didn't care. No. That gave rise to Trump because Trump actually listened to us. He actually cares. Many of us, I mean, it was it's bad. At least mad. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton BS and said, I feel your pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, <laughs> Barack Obama didn't give a damn. He should have never been elected. Before he was elected in 2000, and, what, he got elected in 2008, my mother sent, may God rest her soul, letters to black churches warning them about Barack Obama. Saying he was so wow. ungodly, I said, "Mom, that's harsh." Wow. She, she wrote it anyway. That's right. And everything my mother said, may God rest her soul, was Christmas. right. He hates this country, but he yeah. wants to live off the fat of the land. And he is. Like the founders of Black <laughs> Lives Matter, they don't give a damn about black people. Nope. They didn't have to spend one dime to help build a black business, but these lesbians they bought homes exactly. in predominantly white neighborhoods. Yes. See, they say they hate capitalism, yes. but they love to use us and live off of capitalism <laughs> while they spout an anti-God, anti-America <laughs> rhetoric. So right. I just they got you in a black community. They put us in danger. No, not all black people are drug dealers or this or that, but you're harming the average black who lives in an area that has is high crime. When you talk about defund the police. And we saw the other day in New York City, where you have illegals beating up NYPD officers. Oh. That went by. <clears throat> and salute to our law enforcement. And salute to the, our first responders. Salute and love to the ones that put their life on the line every single day on a daily basis, man. And we just, um, you know. Had that situation with uh, Jonathan Dillard's rest in peace. Send him my love to the Dillard family. You know, that, that shouldn't have happened to, to begin with, you know. Criminals just roaming free, smiling. Nothing's being done. And now a son has to grow up without his father. It's ridiculous. Viral. But under Trump, something like that would have been dealt with immediately. He would have spoken out immediately. Alvin Bragg, from what I understand, helped them to be get out. No bail. No. Yeah. 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 No bail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No bail. There is a concern among Democrats that the vote for Trump is hardening within the black community. It's solidifying. It's not just a fancy fancy. And I think Democrats both black and white liberals, they're, they're panicking. Some of the reasons why blacks, particularly black men, 
are drawn to Trump is that he puts America first. He puts Americans first. We see that Joe Biden and his administration, they're now in this battle with the state of Texas to cut down the barbed wire. We, ladies and gentlemen, have essentially an invasion of our country yeah. going on. Yeah. Great. Exactly. Black people are waking up. All you have to do, I would recommend if, if, if you want verification, go on YouTube, black residents in Chicago, type in Chicago, black people, immigrants. They are fed up. Black people are now feeling the effects. That's facts. That is facts. And she ain't lying. Go to go, go to Google, you, YouTube, Google, whatever you want to call it. Go to it and just type it in. Bam. We've actually been covered on the channel ourselves. People are fed up, man. Sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, when these liberal mayors, oh, we want to be a sanctuary city, New York, L.A., even Newark, New Jersey. We want to be a sanctuary city. But you see, they don't put the illegals where Nancy Pelosi lives, where the elite live. They put them with us. And I'm not anti anything, but it must be done correctly and fairly. I mean, the hypocrisy of these leftists and liberals is stunning. That was gooder than chicken right there. Y'all may disagree, but the way she just tied all that together and then put the hypocrisy bow on top at the end, oh, I love it. God bless that woman just out here dropping nothing but facts and preaching the truth. And I think Donald Trump, truth, can we get up? Can we, hey, y'all comment down below, truth bombs, truth, 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 truth bombs. And I need y'all to comment down below Trump 2024 in the comment section. Trump 2024 and truth bombs really needs to have her at every single rally and possibly even offer her a spot in his administration after he wins this 2024 election it just gives me goosies and makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside seeing wisdom mixed with common sense like that because it's so rare that we get to see these traits anymore in this social climate that we got going on we should just give this lady a microphone and a free ride to the nearest inner city and just let her get busy and do her thing and just teach folks what's really going on and continue to expose these devices of lies that the left is always promoting because the white man is not oppressing and, and holding anyone down anymore. He does not have his foot on your neck. If you're not where you want to be, it's because of you and the people that raised you. Stop depending on the government and quit voting for these clowns and expecting positive changes to happen. That's insanity when you keep voting for the same people and expecting different results. It's not ever going to happen. Obama, Biden, and all these other radicals and their secular agenda have got to be stopped, which means we can't be silent. We have to continue to rebuke and expose the wickedness instead of just going along with this deceptive woke propaganda. Abortion, aka murder, is wrong. Anti-God values are wrong. And there's no need to sugarcoat it, y'all. These Democrats are trying to destroy this country. And so far, it looks like they're succeeding. And if we don't stand together and combat this inclusion and invasion garbage, it's only going to get worse. I don't care what you look like on the exterior. We're all part of the one race that God Almighty created. Human beings that bleed the same color red and we all bleed the same i probably said that in every single video y'all seen <laughs> could give a damn what your skin color is what you look like what you smell like how tall how big how skinny hairstyle don't care we all bleed the same The only thing that separates us is good versus evil, righteousness versus lawlessness. And those come down to the lifestyle decisions that you make each and every day. God gave us all the free decision-making, free will ability to choose which path you go down. The narrow one that few people find or the wide path that leads to destruction that many people go down. They follow mm. what's popular and, and, and trendy in the culture. And I'm well Great. aware that not everybody that watches my videos is a Christian, but I am. So on this channel, Lord willing, that's always the approach that you're going to get from me and God's word, this Bible right here, it has a lot to say about how we're supposed to deal with evil and silence ain't the answer y'all. It never will be. We're not supposed to just curl up in the fetal position and, and curl up in a corner and, and just watch things get burned to the ground here in America. That's not how it's supposed to go. We are one nation under God and Romans 12 verse 21 says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Leviticus 5 verse 1 says, if a person sins in hearing the utterance of an oath and is 
a witness, whether he has seen or known of the matter, if he does not tell it, he bears guilt. Ephesians 5 verse 11 goes on to say, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. That's God's word. That's the basic instructions before leaving earth. That's the most important manual instruction thing that you can imply to your life ever period. From the beginning to the end, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, the alpha, the omega. And if you're not abiding in his word, if you're not living by his guidelines and moral standard and your compass aligned with him, you're doing it all wrong. And it is all out spiritual warfare that we're faced with every single day right now in this very moment. And we're going to win as long as we continue we're to stand win. firm in the truth and speak that with love, continue to put on the full armor of God every single day and resist caving into the sin, then we can overcome all of the evils that are in this world. And Lord, I know that you're in complete control at all times. And I pray that you let the scales fall right off the eyes of these people who are still blinded by darkness. And I pray mm. that they repent and put their faith in Jesus as their Lord and Savior so that they can step into the light and really get to experience what eternal salvation and peace and freedom and the only fulfillment and contentment that you will ever have and need is in Jesus. I pray that for all of these people. Amen. So Amen. I would love to hear what you think about all this. I know I get into these passionate rants and sermons and tangents, but again, that's why y'all show up and watch my videos. I appreciate it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below with some substance. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm glad we played that whole thing through, man. That was very, very powerful. And again, y'all spreading the truth, man. Keeping it real, spreading that love. God is love, man. And I love every last one of y'all. Y'all drop a like on the video. Comment down below how you feel. How you feel about that. I need to see Trump 2024 as well. And truth bombs in the comment section, man. Truth bombs in the comment section. I'm wishing you all an amazing week. Y'all take care of y'all self. And remember to spread that love, man. Because you never know what somebody's going through. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.